I've been using Forex Tester 4 for seven months. In this video, I'll give you my honest review on how the product works and if it's actually better than previous versions. All right, this is Forex Tester 4. Now, I don't know if you have used the previous versions of Forex Tester, but I liked Forex Tester 2. You know, it was still in early stages, so there were quite a few of quite a few things that were missing, but I liked it on the whole. Forex Tester 3 was kind of a disaster in my opinion. Uh, it made these super bloated files and it was really hard to use. So I didn't I actually didn't I skipped Forex Tester 3 and I kept using Forex Tester 2. But with Forex Tester 4, uh, there were a couple of things that caught my eye, and that's the reason why I decided to give it a try and see how it worked. And I've been using it for seven months and I really, really like it. It's um, much better than Forex Tester 2 and 3. And the biggest thing I like is the ability to set your percentage risk on every trade. That was something that was sorely missing from both of the previous versions. So if you risk 1% per trade, you can now do that in Forex Tester 4. Uh, before I was using a spreadsheet to calculate every trade and that just added an extra step. So that's really good if you use fixed fractional risk, which most traders uh, use. So that's one of the biggest benefits of Forex Tester 4. Now let's get into the other stuff. Um, as you can see, the interface pretty much looks the same as previous versions. You can do automated strategies, you can add custom indicators, uh, you can upload data, and on the whole, it's pretty similar. Uh, one of the biggest menu item changes is the data center is now outside of the menu, uh, of the text menu. So you have this nice little icon here, you just click on data center, and that brings up the data. Another benefit to Forex Tester 4 is that you can also do stocks and indices. Uh, so you can see these here, you can add your own, and uh, some of these can only be accessed, or the data for some of these uh, stocks and indices can only be accessed through the premium data service, which I am subscribed to. And uh, if you want to trade, if you want to backtest these other markets, then I would highly recommend getting that, uh, those data sets, because you can get all of the data with one simple payment every month. So that makes it easy. Otherwise, if you just want to use the major pairs, and for example, the Euro US dollar, you can use the, um, the standard uh, MetaTrader, uh, not MetaTrader, but a Forex Tester uh, data set, which is this one. Then you just hit update from server. And then I use uh, download one minute history only and go as far back as possible. And you can just update the data there and you can see uh, the data set that's currently downloaded right here. So that makes it easy. Um, another change in Forex Tester 4 is when you create a new project, you first you give it a name, then you show, oh, let's go through it. Uh, let's call this test three. You can set the deposit amount, go to next, and then you can choose the pair that you're gonna back test, and it gives you the dates that uh, you have the data for on your computer. And I just use one minute data, then you go to next, checks the available history, and then you can set the uh, daylight savings time, which is really nice because that wasn't included in the previous versions. Uh, or you can just do a GMT offset of all of the data if you wanna do it that way. And then you hit create, and then the uh, project gets started. In the past, it was really confusing because, especially in Forex Tester 2, where uh, you would have to create a new project and then answer all these questions. And then sometimes the, or most of the time, the new project would overwrite the old project. And that was just a whole mess. Sometimes I lost whole sets of backtesting data because of that. But this new workflow in terms of a new project makes it really easy. Uh, the next thing I like about Forex Tester 4, let, let's start a test here real quick. Okay, so that's some data. And then if you wanna start over on this project, you can just hit this circular arrow and it will restart the project. And that's really useful if you mess something up, especially if you weren't following the rules of the strategy uh, very closely and you mess something up and 
and you just want to start over. I think that's a great feature to have. Otherwise, it's very similar to the previous versions. Uh, one thing I can talk about with Forex Tester 4 is the ability to use it on a uh, virtual machine like VMware Fusion. I was using VMware Fusion for a long time with Forex Tester 2. It was working perfectly. Uh, they went to Forex Tester 3 and it didn't work at all with VMware Fusion. And then I tried it on VMware Fusion with Forex Tester 4 and it, it works, but if you use it long enough, it gets really glitchy and it the, the candles slow down when you press play. The candles will start to slow down for some reason. And they said, yeah, the best thing to do is to just put it on a Windows machine and that's how you're gonna get the best performance out of it. So what I'm doing here to get it on my Mac is to run it on Microsoft Remote Desktop and I have a Dell Venue 11 um, tablet that runs Windows, a full version of Windows. So I have that uh, hidden away behind my monitor and I just access that with Remote Desktop and that makes it easy for me to get back testing on my Mac, get it full speed, full function and uh, it makes it much easier, it makes it much faster because the data is coming through quicker, right? And you can get a one of these Dell uh, tablets for, I think mine was under $100. They're not that expensive. So I would recommend doing it that way. And if you also want to just go somewhere and do some back testing without any other distractions, this can be a great way to do it because you just have the tablet. You just take the tablet with you. You don't have any other software on the tablet except for a Forex tester and maybe MetaTrader and you can do some back testing uh, without being disturbed. Okay, aside from the fact that it only runs well on a Windows computer, there aren't any other downsides. I really like the software. I believe that this is the best software that you can use to do Forex back testing, especially manual back testing, which a lot of traders neglect and that's why so many traders fail. So I believe that this is the premier software to do Forex back testing. Okay, there's one little tip that I want to give you. I got this little keyboard off of eBay and ordinarily this would be pretty useless, right? Because the, the trackpad is tiny, the keys are tiny, you're not going to type any faster than you would with a swipe on a regular keyboard. However, when you use this with Forex Tester 4, this can be a great way to control the charts and speed up your back testing. So this is how I have it set up. The A key is set up as the, oh, let me turn it on first, that would help. Okay, so it's connected, so I can move the mouse around a little bit. And then the A key is used to pause and start the uh, chart. And then I use plus and minus to go back and forward. And that alone can really speed things up. And you can do it on the keyboard too, but I found that a little clunkier. Uh, then once I get to a place where I want to execute a trade, then I use the mouse to, uh, or the trackpad, to actually execute the trade. But I found that using this handy little keyboard speeds things up and it makes it feel a little bit more like a video game. So if you're into video games, then that can help. All right, so that's my review of Forex Tester 4. If there's anything that I would wanna see added to the software, it's a complete suite of reporting. So you could put together a bunch of back tests and you could see the cumulative results and do some uh, Monte Carlo simulations on them. That would be fantastic. But otherwise, this is a great software. I think this is much, much better than Forex Tester 3 and a, a lot better than Forex Tester 2 also. So if you wanna get a discount on Forex Tester 4, just go to that link on the screen. That's my affiliate link. I do get a little bit of commission, but in exchange, you get a discount on the software. And be sure to keep an eye out for their sales because you can also apply my discount to their sales and you'll get double the discount. All right, if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up and keep an eye out for the next video. Thanks for watching.